back to my channel. Today we'll be playing with Jacqueline. Jacqueline's newly released makeup here. So I have the highlight here in the shade Iced, um, as well as I have two of her uh, Pout Spoken lipsticks, one in the shade Get Real, um, and the other one in the shade Truth. So we're going to compare them to a few products. I might have found a dupe um, and we're going to discuss this. But before we do, um, I do want to get into the fact that I don't think Jacqueline is a bad person at all. Um, I commend her for getting back up on her feet and releasing more makeup products. And I hope in the future that she continues to create makeup and release makeup and I'm hoping that it's not limited edition like some of the other products have been um but yes I do commend her for coming and uh releasing lipsticks again um and going in with a fresh frame of mind I think that's something that we should all do when we fail um I think that she's been involved in a few inconsistent product launches and some you know some issues with product launches and stuff like that but that doesn't necessarily make her a bad person I don't think that she deserves people coming at her uh, with pitchforks um, by any means I think people are a little too harsh with her but with that still being said I'm going to give you guys my unbiased opinion about these products and some of the things that I may do or say and this might be a little controversial but remember um, that I am unbiased in my review of these products and we're comparing makeup products to makeup products and that is all um, that we're doing in today's video so let's go ahead and get started um, with the Jaclyn highlight here and again I got mine um, I hope it's not too reflective but I got mine in the shade iced because I thought it could be um, a dupe for Becca's champagne pop um, and Jacqueline may not have known this, but Becca's obviously going out of business and their probably more successful launch was her champagne pop highlight. So um, what, what it would be great is if she already carried a dupe for that to sell um, that product. So we're going to test these out here real quick and I'm going to swatch Becca's champagne pop bowl. But first I will actually show you them. I thought that this could be similar, but it looks like champagne pop might be a little more peachy gold. Um, and this one has a little bit more of like an icy reflect. But when I think ice is called ice, when I think ice, I'm thinking like white, like icy, like for very, very, very fair skin. Um, and this wasn't exactly that. Um, it does have some gold and peach in it, but not nearly as much is looking like not nearly as much as Becca by any means. This top here is iced. I hope you can see. Let me do a better swatch. Hold on. Let me, it's kind of hard to see. I'm really going to try to make it obvious. <sighs> okay. So the top is, the top is. Uh, Becca and the bottom is iced so they're very similar but ice is a little more pinky and I would say has a little more like white or silver glitters in it whereas I think champagne pop is more peachy and has more gold shimmers in it but very close I think on the cheeks we'll go ahead and apply Becca to one cheek and then Jacqueline's um, highlight on the other cheek and we will see just how similar they, how similar they are on the cheeks and in formula because I think Becca has a very superior formula and unfortunately um, they're going out of business so so this is Becca's highlight um, and I do really love their formula you can really share it out it can be kind of buildable or it can be very blinding that's totally up to you how you apply it what brush you apply it with and how heavy-handed or light-handed you would go in with this but for today's sake, we're going to try to go in pretty heavy handed so we can see the difference. Um, that's Champagne Pop, a very beloved shade created by Jacqueline. And then we're going to go in with hers. I will say like the packaging wise of this is super bulky. I'm not a fan also of the reflect on this. You can see all kinds of fingerprints on it. And I don't know, as a beauty guru, she should know like the struggle of showing products with fingerprints all over it so you figure that she would find packaging that was first off not bulky and then wow that's actually really blinding um but um also just like not dirty looking um we don't want it to look dirty um but i mean she did come out with a white eyeshadow palette with morphe her original one that's Jacqueline's. that's morphe you can or i'm sorry that's becca 
her highlight is blinding. This would have been like the perfect highlight, like 2015. Like she would have sold the shit out of these. I don't know that anyone's really into anything this big. Uh, yeah, Becca is not nearly as blinding. It's far more reflect in this, but that's like so Jacqueline. It does seem like uh, bash or anything, but it does seem like she is kind of stuck in the past. She's not really in with the trends of today. And I think that she should really do a better job of getting in touch with her subscribers and getting in touch with the times and keep with it. But yeah, this is a very blinding highlight. And I don't know that we're really into that anymore, but I think it is still very beautiful. Maybe I could use a lighter hand on it next time, but I don't know. Can you really tell the difference between Champagne Pop and her highlight? color wise on the cheeks I don't think so um so if you already have a Becca highlight and you don't need another one because honestly it's not something that you absolutely need um I don't I think skip on Jacqueline's I think her price point on that's a little high at like I think it's 36 or 38 dollars it is really high uh price tag for that product if you ask me in my opinion so I'd say if you have enough highlights and you're not into blinding highlights go ahead and skip on this um, we'll go ahead and get into the lipsticks um, here and we have again the shade Truth, Truth and Get Real. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've swatched these quite a few times um, and I did notice a difference in inconsistency in these formulas. Unfortunately, I can't make this shit up. Um, that's just what happened. This Truth shade right here is like a brownie shade and I'm going to swatch that right here this shade is more of a watery formula um and it does look like it does have a little bit of time that it dries down i want you to see that there is quite a bit of sheen with this one very much a watery formula and this one smells like like sweet a very ever so sweet fragrance to it these two lipsticks also smell differently this one here is a little bit more of a whip texture so i want you to see that the texture of this is still shiny it's still trying to dry down. It's very much a thin formula on it. Um, and then we're gonna go in with the shade Truth and I want you to see that um, the formula on this is like very whipped texture. And I'm going to apply that here so that I can show you, uh, so I can show you that this is matte. There's no, you can still see a little residual sheen on the other one, but this is very much a whipped formula. And the smell of this one is a little stronger of cupcakes, whereas this one's like ever so slightly faint. Um, and that one is ever so slightly um, faint, like sweet smell, but you really got to smell it. This is very much strongly fragranced. And this bad boy um, is a beautiful color, um, but she's way matte. So let's go ahead and swatch these on my lips real quick. We'll go ahead and go in with Get Real first. I want you to notice that it looks shiny once applied to the lips. Very pigmented, thin formula on this one. You only need to dip into this one time, into the tube. And uh, I'm not gonna let this fully dry down because we gotta do some other lip swatches, but I do like the color of this. Once again, uh, liquid lipsticks, at first I was like, why is she releasing those? No one's into liquid lipsticks right now, but I guess with the pandemic, it's not a bad idea. And then I realized that she already messed up bullet lipsticks, so it wasn't really much option for her, because um, this is also like so 2015 to me. Um, but yeah, if she were to really release these in 2015, man, she would have really lapped all the way to the bank. But this is what the shade looks like. I think the undertone of this looks very nice. It's a little peachy, it's a little brown, it's a little pink. Um, and I think it looks really nice on my lips. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off and we're gonna go in with the shade Truth. All right, now with the shade Truth, very much more of a whipped formula on this one, like I said. And uh, not as pigmented. And I feel like these shades on the lips are very, very similar. So this feels a lot more whipped on the lips. It feels a little more matte, slightly more drying than the other one did. We did only have to go in one dip on that one to apply this. And I don't know, they these two shades look very similar to each other to me. Um, I kind of feel bad because I think I nearly spent $50 on these uh, with shipping. These are like 20 bucks, then it's $40 plus shipping and handling. Nearly $50 for these lipsticks is kind of a lot. This does feel a little sticky, but I do want to show you guys a dupe. So I'm going to take this off real quick. Notice that Jacqueline did a, uh, a video relaunch of these lipsticks, but not the uh, 
cheek and blush or did I miss it? I thought that was interesting because I did try to look for it. Maybe she's made one since I did. But yeah, I don't understand if it's her product why she wouldn't show us um, those. But have you guys picked up any of her products? And uh, put down in the comments below how you think or feel about these. I'm going to go ahead and kind of put a little conceal on my lips here. the best I could probably do sorry guys they do kind of stain your lips but I'm gonna go in with the dupe which you guys this is makeup versus makeup okay we got the morphe liquid lipstick in virgin and the Jacqueline lipstick in truth this is truth here on the bottom as you remember I'm gonna swatch morphe which is also a whip texture on this uh, lipstick and I'm going to swatch that right down here this is ten dollars Jacqueline's um, is uh, $20 and as you will see when that starts drying down it's going to be a fairly decent match so I'm going to put uh, Morphe's here on this side it wouldn't surprise me if her lipsticks were made in different labs or something but I wouldn't understand why you would have two different formulas and then we're gonna go on the other side with Jacqueline's. And there you go. I really can't tell um, much of a difference on the lips between these two. If you already have Virgin then you probably don't need to spend money on these um, outspoken uh, lipsticks here from Jacqueline because it's a very slight difference. This is very slightly pink or peachy and this one's a little more pink. Uh, but as Morphe dries down, as these dry down, they look, do they look so similar? It's, it's really not a joke, but what do you guys think? I'm going to let this one dry a little bit. I think today we're going to test drive Truth. Um, and we will do... Well, I think I want to do a comparison. We're going to try out both of these actually. Because I think these are really similar in shade too. That I think that um, we're going to do half side Truth and half side Get Real. And we're going to see the difference in formula on these ones. I do want to test out one thing. This Morphe one's not dry yet. God, but god damn these are like all in the same color family i know like as women we think like there's a difference in shade but like sometimes there's not i'm gonna do a wipe test on these ones the morphe one wasn't like completely dry but it's mostly to see the wipe test on the um morphe's like these two are totally different formulas look how with with wiping how much staying power you get with the shade truth versus the shade get real i'm telling you that get real is way watery over formula the smell is different on it the wear is different on it they're like two completely different formulas guys and this get real shade is completely different as well i do want to test morphe against um jacqueline since we have half and half and let's do like a uh transfer proof test let's see all right, um, so this side here is a transfer and that's Jacqueline's side. Um, I think her lipstick might take a little while to dry. Hers feels tacky. I don't know if you can tell, but like, that side of my lip where Jacqueline's is, is sticking. And I'm, I'm not doing anything, okay? I'm gonna do it again so you can see. I'm not making this shit up. Her side is stickier and it does transfer over Morphe for sure ever so slightly I don't like that sticky feeling but I'm gonna wipe this off and then we're gonna do half each of her shades of truth and get real and we'll do a wear test and I'll let you know how they wear I'll check in with you after my lunch it's getting close to lunch time so this isn't gonna be a total day wear. Test. there's no way that these wear a whole day but they're pretty well stuck to my lips so I'm gonna have to put a little bit of concealer on Bring that in. Okay, that's as best as I can get. 
and uh, just gonna wipe off the concealer a little bit. All right, we're gonna go in with the shade Truth on this side here, and let's go in with Get Real on the other side. I want you to see how shiny this one ends up being. We're gonna kiss test to see if which of these formulas, if one of them is more transfer than the other since they're different. And we'll see which side might stick better, just like we did with the Morphe one. I'm telling you guys, once these dry, I don't think you're gonna see much of a difference. I could barely see a difference. Can you? I'm kind of pissed I spent $50 on these. I could have just got one shade. But then I wouldn't know that there's like two different formulas of this lipstick out there. So I don't know if that's what she was banking on or if she got them from two different labs. I have no idea what the situation is on that. Truth feels a little more lightweight on the lips and this one feels a little heavier and tackier on the lips for sure. I'm gonna give this a couple minutes to dry and we'll do a transfer test and then I'll wear it and then I'll show you what it looks like after I eat my lunch. All right, so we're gonna do the lip sticky test. Uh, I don't know what else to call that, but let's see. Hmm, perfect. Oh, there's some stick to it. Let's look on the inside. Sometimes it looks like little crustaceans on there. I don't see any crustaceans, but it, I don't know, it feels sticky. Oh, inside there, it's definitely like wiping away. Okay, let's do the transfer test, guys. We did the sticky test, it's sticky. This side of my arm here has been wiped off a few times from swatches, so it's nice and dry and clean. There's no anything oily or anything else on it. I had to wipe it down with my handy dandy towel here, um, and let's go in. Maybe a little bit, ever so slightly on this side, which I don't remember which side that is. That's the truth side. So this is a thinner formula, a little more transfer proof, feels a little more lightweight. I'd say I prefer the truth formula. I'm sorry, I I prefer the get real formula over the truth formula. All right guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear this and I will check in with you guys after I eat my lunch. Um, I just finished, update on this lipstick here, I just finished lunch. It looks like it's mostly gone. It's just like on the outside here. Luckily, the foundation around my mouth is also missing somehow. But um, I just had Chipotle burrito bowl for lunch. Um, and it's pretty much gone, I think. Um, so I'm going to call it here. I don't think it's a terrible um, lipstick formula. It didn't feel super dry on my lips, but it did have that like kind of tacky feeling to it. And I, and I don't think it went away. Um, as far as the highlight goes, this is the Becca side. This is the Jaclyn side. I feel like the Jacqueline side is a lot more highlighty, if you will. Um, and it looks like it stayed on the face a little better, but it, it's literally been like two hours um, since I was filming. But yep, that's my thoughts, at least right now, on these products. I'll continue to wear, continue to wear them and see if it like crumbles or if the formula changes throughout changes throughout wear. I appreciate you guys watching my video today. Um, if you do like this content, please give this a thumbs up. Please sub sub subscribe to my channel. Please take care. Have a good day. Bye.